be worth taking a look around, too. Savior, <laughs> tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Baron Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy. <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you can get those blasted gates open. <laughs> Guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. That broken ribs will do that to you. Gentlemen. Uh, that's our cue. <laughs> Taking the edge off? Well, at the end, the world's coming. I don't be sober for it. Now, let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So whatever you need, ask away. How have things been since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. What do you know about the embassy? I know, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. What do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I better get going. Right, you know, I have to do complicated Aloy things. 
Maybe just don't disappear completely this time. No promises. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Huh? Hopefully sober next time. Not done counting it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Savior, you're my last hope. Conover, she's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well... I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakh take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here. Meaning, someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different, jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Larovic mentioned the eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they heard me. The stranger took off, and Larovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Larovic's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Larovic in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipses. And considering are out there. there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Eyes up here, sister!
Must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Blood stains. It's as good a place to start as any. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. I see plenty of tracks from the Karja search party. Not helpful. Broken branches. Was someone up here? tracks leading away from barren light i should be able to follow them with my focus let's see where this leads maybe conover wasn't lying after all anything now lost the trail there's too many machines walking around maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them Should be easy to follow the trail up ahead now.
Spire can make use of this. must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Looks like we're headed for that bridge. Focus might find something I missed. Tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Where did you go off to? Got a bad view of Baramite. I had to spy on it. Could do a lot of damage. The trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs.
make an interesting color for my armor. This looks like a good place for someone to hide. I don't know Larvik's dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard, we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. The Karja have become weak and foolish. Someone there? No! What was that? You suffer for that! The Outlander's here! <laughs> Takes care of that. But I'm sure there's more of them outside. I better be careful. Okay. I think we must be 
more ammo. takes care of that. It sounds like there's more Eclipse beyond the Daunt. If this Rayad was their only link to them, he might have a focus. It could tell me where they are. I'm guessing that's way out. Blood trail must have been his. He bled out trying to get here. I was right. Ryad has a focus. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vezra a visit and crush his new Eclipse empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, out past barren light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light.
When we fought the Eclipse back in Meridian, I thought that'd be the end of it. Guess I was wrong. I can feel the heat leaving my body. There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But Nozar, he might not be convinced by your words alone. If he needs proof, show him that. And tell him the man he's got locked up risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to Nozar. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. <sighs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I want to help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, savior.
Hey. What happened here? What do... What do you care? Don't you? As it happens? No. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these... These two... Idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait, two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing. Sounds like I'm on the right track. Better hurry.
Don't think there's anything I can do about this now. Them to learn how to ride machines. Hello? Anyone? Are you hurt? If I live. My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain-climbing machine hunter. Oh, at least I don't have to pay him now. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens which, in some very specific circles, is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lens is from the other towers. I'll make it very worth your while. You said that was a signal tower. In its day, it was a sight to see. All six of them all lit up all around the daunt. They used to warn folks that the Tanaks are coming, for whatever that was worth. As you can imagine, the car just spared no expense putting them together. Hence the fancy lenses in need of a new home before the towers are torn down. So you're a thief. I'm more what you'd call an opportunist with a good eye for business. Look, the Karja are gonna tear all these towers down anyway. They see no value here. They're trying to make nice with the Tanakh now. See? 
It's a victimless crime. A uh, opportunity. Tell that to your friend down there. <sighs> Self-inflicted. Why can't you do it? Look, even if I hadn't hurt my ankle here, I'm clearly nowhere near as capable as you. Oh, come on. I, I can't just let the lenses go to waste. That's not what my father would have wanted. Your father... is he a thief? Sorry. Opportunist, too? No. He helped design the towers. Before he passed on. So that's how you know about the lenses. Yeah. And why they have sentimental value. I already found some, actually. Well, look at that! Looks like you're quite the opportunist too, eh? Let me take these off your hands, then. This should be a nice reward for your efforts. I'm an honest merchant, after all. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens up this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. You can smell the opportunity in the air, can't you? Caster won't work on that. I need to try from a different angle. I am really busting up this place. Snowflakes on my lashes. Huh? One of the signal devices. Should be a lens I can grab for Reyna. Got the lens. I can trade it with Reyna the next time I see her. 